a star in a brand new upcoming film, Remy and Arletta, that is uh, based on a true story. Mm -hmm. Cody is standing by to chat with the stars about that and a whole lot of. Oh, yeah, I, I, I've got to get to that. <laughs> but I got to talk to him about something else first. Yeah, yeah. So we've got uh, Michaela Whitman and author Dana Roach joining us right now. Hello, you two. Hey, how are you? I hope you don't mind, but let's, before we get to the business at hand, can we talk about Clairvoyant, you both, the project you both did together? I watched that last night. I was dying. I was absolutely dying. It is so funny and so cringeworthy. Yeah. Is there people out there that think it's an actual documentary? Do they not realize that it's, it's a, a mockumentary? There are, yeah. A lot of our negative reviews are people thinking that it's real, which is honestly just a compliment. It really is. <laughs> yeah, I'll it's, take it. It's so good. Now, when did? Can you tell us the story behind that real quick? Because it was supposed to be like a two-day shoot, right? Um, I thought it was going to be a two-day shoot. I wanted to make something. It didn't really matter what it was, but Arthur, being the like mastermind director writer that he is, was like, "This, <laughs> this needs to. It's worth." seeing it through all the way. So it ended up, we ended up shooting it actually over six months on whatever weekends we had available. It's so good. Okay, now let's talk about the new thing. Now it's based, this is based on a true story and, and a book you wrote, is that correct? Yes, yeah, it is. It's a lie. It's like, honestly, hearing you say it sounds bizarre because I, I kind of like took a step back from it because if I go around, um, telling everyone that it's my true story like it just it's too it's such an intimate story so i really took a step back and i see remy as her own character and i see all the people in their own world they're in the world of remy and arletta it's it's i i try to distance myself from it i guess if that makes sense okay i say compartmentalize yeah. and stuff now arthur tell us a little bit about directing her is she a nightmare she seems just like a horrible person to hang out with all day <laughs> oh look at her no no i mean you know michaela's fantastic that's why i work with her and um I just needed to get out of the way of the movie and let it breathe and let it be its own thing. The movie almost made itself. I don't know. There was something outside of me. Uh, I just needed to tend to it like a garden, you know? Yeah, yeah. Does, it, does that happen very often when you're making movies and stuff? Or is that when you know you've got something gold? Like, oh, this was easy. Yeah, well, when you've got something gold. You know, it's like being in the zone when you're doing a, I don't know, a trick shot on a basketball hoop it's like you know you don't even think yeah you know? it's a, it's such a terrifying process and when you're in the middle of it you're like i can't believe i'm doing this right now like i'm in debt i haven't slept what am i doing <laughs> but, but it just kind of like something comes over you and it just i mean if it's what you're called to do then it's fun I appreciate you uh, assuming that I know how to hit a trick shot. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> I, I have no frame of reference. Uh, can you give us a little hint about what the, what the movie is about though? Yeah, I don't know if I'm as good at the elevator pitch, but it's about, I'll give it a shot. It's about two uh, female best friends who are in their last year of high school and they're figuring out their relationship with themselves and, and the world. Yeah, the world, their family, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's based on, you know, your true story, compartmentalized, I know, but it's, it's based on a true story. Uh, a lot of it really happened. She had to cut a ton of stuff out that was just, Stranger than fiction, you know, um, and uh, it's, I don't know, I'm really, really proud to have been a part of it, and I'm really proud that you let me be a part of it. <laughs> yeah. So this team, there's a couple projects now, are, is there something else in the works? Are you guys working on something else? Um, yes. <laughs> every time people ask us that, the answer changes. Like, we have 20 different projects, but also, more importantly, like, we kind of need a vacation. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Like, there's a ton of stuff. There's something called Night on the Town, which we really love. Maybe that'll be next. Okay. We'll be looking out for it. We'll be looking out for it. I'm telling you, though, clairvoyant, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Remy, <laughs> Remy and Arletta, go see it. Uh, new film. Is it out in theaters, or is it going to be released into the wild into uh, streaming and stuff? Where can we see it? Uh, hopefully theaters. Hopefully theaters uh, in the near future. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll check in with it. And once again, Clairvoyant is on Prime. I'm telling you, check it out. It is <laughs> brilliant. Thank you, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you get a feeling that one day they're going to be getting their Oscars and stuff? Oh, I can't and wait. Y'all be that. like, just remember us. Just, just, just throw in, <laughs> and all these people that helped me with my career, and and, and Cody. Yeah, that's all you need to do. That's all you need. To do. <laughs> all right, back to you, Court. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys.